everybody, Indy here. Welcome to another edition of Sled Shed TV. Today, we're talking skis. And we're throwing out the old ones, and we're bringing in Curve Industries Curve XS skis. So come on back here, and we'll show you what they sent us. So here's what you want to order from Curve. You want to get their skis. You want to get their carbides. And you want to get their mounting bolt kit. Uh, what you need to put these on is a ratchet. We're going to use an air ratchet here. 11 16th wrench, 11 16th deep well socket, and that's pretty much so it. And you're going to need the sockets to take your old skis off, which we already have our old skis off, so this is going to be a pretty quick process. One of the reasons we have premature carbide failure <clears throat> is because when we put them on our skis, we tighten them down way too tight. So for this, we're not going to use the air ratchet, we're going to use regular ratchet. And I got them all down except for one here. And just go snug. That way, you don't put so much stress on the weld on the bar and it won't pop the stud off and then you lose your carbide or it starts to bend the carbide. So you want to keep these just hand tight. They already come with a nylon lock nut. They're not going to come off. So just, just hand tight and you're good to go. Our foot is down into the ski and as you can see with the rubber installed we're just a little bit higher than the bolt hole so what we have to do is take something a little bit of leverage to line the hole up. We gotta do the same thing with the other side. So what we'll do there is we'll lift this up. Slide a block of wood underneath the inside of the ski. And this should level it out. If it doesn't quite make it, I'm going to want to do put your knee on the bumper and it should twist the suspension enough for the holes to line up. So now our bolt's in. Put our supplied washer and lock nut on. This one you're going to want to crank down pretty good. And your ski's done. So our skis are on now. We're all fastened down. Uh, what Curb suggests is a quarter inch toe out. So what I'm going to do is I have the skis lined up and I have the tie rod ends loose. So now all I got to do is watch my measurement here and turn my tie rods and get my quarter inch. But you want to make sure that your tie rods get turned evenly so that way you don't run out on one side or the other, which you shouldn't, but just so you don't, you want to adjust both sides. Okay, so we have our quarter inch toe out. All I have to do is tighten the tie rod ends up and we're good to go. Okay, so there they are, all tightened down, ready to hit the snow. Very easy job, anybody can do it. You just need, you know, 
a jack, a piece of wood, and a couple of wrenches, and you're ready to go. Uh, if you like what you see, just go to www.curveindustries.com and check out the skis that they have for your ride. So for that, I'm Indy, and if we don't see you before, we'll see you on the trail.